Hey everyone, welcome to Tathastu. I hope you all are doing good. Well, today we are going to talk about an observation or discovery which has been done by the Japanese astronomers and according to them, in this Kuiper belt around the Neptune, there is a possibility of another planet which is similar to Earth. Its properties are similar to Earth. Okay. So in this small session, we are going to talk about this Kuiper belt and what are its properties and what are the observations, what are the conclusions of their observations. Okay. But before that, they, here is a quick update. Here is a quick information for you these four beautiful courses have been designed by the Tathastu team one is MSLV main success launch vehicle admissions are open for here another one is PSLV prelim success launch vehicle and the idea here is that because prelims is the stage where large number of students get rejected because large number of students face the competition here so to make the students successful with the flying colors here is a course designed specifically for the prelims Another one is NCRT module. Registrations are open here. NCRTs are the base. We have observed this. Previous year questions and NCRTs are the base for this UPSC thing. Okay. So the registrations are open here. If you want, you can enroll here. And from 15th of September, a new batch is going to get started. And it is regarding philosophy optional, which will be helmed by Tanu ma'am herself. Okay. Here is the information, telephone number and everything and the address. If you want, you can visit the area also okay? you can visit the coaching center now what's the news why is this thing in news because the two japanese astronomers have discovered a possible indication of a planet resembling to earth within our solar system okay earlier it is said that if there is any planet which is similar to earth it is beyond our solar system but that is why it has been said that it's a big discovery and it's even if it is a possibility it's a big possibility and we should the scientist should uh, think about it and the scientist should work around it so this enigmatic planet is thought to have existed within the kuiper belt now what is this kuiper belt it's a ring of objects in the outer solar system situated beyond the neptune's path okay let me show you so even if it, it is considered the Neptune's path and this is the Kuiper world which is which is situated beyond this area okay so that is the thing and this Kuiper belt these are the objects broadly these are the objects around here which are the icy objects around it okay now just like the planets the Kuiper belt also revolves around the Sun just like uh, every other planet all the solar systems the solar system and the planets which are there in the solar system the way they revolve around its star that is the sun similarly the kuiper in the kuiper belt the planets here also revolve around the sun okay now what is this kuiper belt so the kuiper belt also called the edgeworth kuiper belt is a flat circular region containing numerous small icy objects that encircle the sun beyond the orbit of neptune okay so beyond the orbit of neptune whatever encircles the earth whatever encircles the sun is called the kuiper belt a flat circular region containing small icy objects okay this concept was initially proposed by gerald kuiper a dutch american astronomer during 1915s and this is gerald kuiper he is also called the father of modern planetary system and on his name this particular because it was his idea that there is a possibility of a planet similar to earth in this particular region in this particular belt and that is why this belt has been named after him okay within this belt there are millions of icy entities collectively known as kuiper belt objects also known as kbo's or trans neptunian objects also known as tno so kbo's and tno's which are there they are being called by these names now it's it primarily consists of small icy bodies encompassing dwarf planets asteroids and comets so these are the things which are there in the solar system in the space and it is with the small icy objects few things which are also there are little planets small planets dwarf planets and the asteroids and the comets you must have read about it in your sixth seventh geography books okay notably the pluto once classified as the ninth planet is one of the most recognized object within this kuiper belt although this pluto has been removed from this, this particular solar system thing but this planet is also recognized as a uh, this planet is also recognized as a part of this kuiper belt pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet by international astronomical unit in 2006 
partly due to its location within this region okay and this international astronomical unit is the is the body which uh, found a particular planet in 2006 and recently it renamed it after pandit uh, jaspal okay so on his name this planet was renamed uh, the astronomers now let's talk about what is their conclusion the conclusion of their observation so according to the japanese astronomers if this potential new planet indeed exists it would have a size ranging from 1.2 five to three times that of the earth okay agar ye exist kar bhi rahe, even if it is existing and although these are the observations and these are the possibilities they are everything in science revolves in the early stage revolves around the idea of possibilities so they are saying that uh, if this theory is right if this thing is right and there is a planet which is uh, which has properties like earth so there is a possibility that this particular planet is 1.5 to 3 times larger than the earth. This finding challenges earlier notion of far off planet 9 and instead suggests the likelihood of a planet that is closer to us possibly within the Kuiper belt. Now what is this? far 9 planet 9 so it's a it's a notion okay it was an idea far 9 this particular idea planet 9 is that there are planets which are beyond our solar system okay and there maybe there is life maybe there is a planet where uh, life is possible just like earth but the region in which these planets are situated is in planet 9 okay but planet 9 is something which is beyond this uh, neptune orbit beyond this pluto and solar system orbit and with this particular discovery with this particular uh, notion this idea has been rejected or there is a question mark on this planet 9 observation planet 9 thing okay their estimation indicates that this planet might be positioned at a distance ranging from 200 to 500 astronomical units okay so the distance is ranged in these planetary between these planetary objects is between the astronomical units so it is said that even if it is there then that particular thing is 200 to 500 astronomical units far away from the sun titled at an angle of approximately 30 degree now to understand this thing the to put this in the into the perspective pluto a known celestial object is located at a distance of 39 astronomical units from the earth and this particular thing is 200 to 500 astronomical units far away okay so these are the things these were the little information regarding this particular observation and what have they suggested what is the implication and what is this kuiper belt on whose name this particular region has been renamed gerald kuiper was the name of the scientist who is called the father of the modern planetary system and on his name it was his idea in 1950s that there is a possibility of a planet in this particular region you don't have to go far beyond the solar system maybe there is a possibility in this particular region in this particular solar system that uh, a planet uh, another planet is possible where the life is possible okay so we'll wait for further discoveries we will wait for the word of scientists until then we'll wait and see tab tak ke liye take care bye bye